Hey guys, welcome back to Weeb Hut Jr. And today we're just going to have a video just talking about our like Kingdom Hearts experiences, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 release date, our like yeah, uh, our excitement for the game. Yeah, our nostalgic experiences and our childhood yeah. experiences of it. And before we continue, just remember to like and subscribe to our channel if you do like our videos. Uh, you'll get notifications for when we... You hit the it. bell thing for notifications. But yeah, we yeah. do lots of Kingdom Hearts stuff. So... so... I'll start with my story. All right, then, then, I'll, can do then I'll tell mine. So I first played Kingdom Hearts actually two years, I think, after it first released. I, I did not pick it up in 2002. I saw the trailers and stuff, but I, I just decided to get it used at a GameStop, and I just loved it. And then Kingdom Hearts 2, I ended up liking the series so much that I did play hooky on that day at school. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> How did you play hooky? I told my parents that I wasn't feeling well, or yeah, I think I was gonna say I wasn't feeling too good. Um, they were at work. I went to like GameStop from like close to where I lived, hopped on the bus, went there, and the whole time <laughs> I was nervous that they were going to be like, "Hey, shouldn't you be in school?" <laughs> and so while I was going to the register to like get the game rung up. I was like awkward and I like tipped over a, over a stand <laughs> which knocked over an employee's coffee on their table and it's like it was a huge spill and all the papers were wet. I was just kind of like sorry and it's like I ran out of there. <laughs> I played I spent the rest of the day playing Kingdom Hearts 2 and it was very good. Did your parents ever find out? I don't remember. I, I mean I think I, I think I just said that like oh yeah I picked this up on the way home today. Or whatever, and that was it. What do you mean on the way home if you from, weren't from at like, school? From, like, school. Oh, yeah, I don't remember. But <laughs> yeah, you don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here's my version. So, I remember seeing the commercials for Kingdom Hearts 1, like, in 2002, and I thought, I was like, oh, wow, this game looks really cool. There's, like, Disney, and the song is really good, so I want <laughs> the game, because the song means it's going to be a good game. No. It doesn't really... In Kingdom Hearts, <laughs> yes. Other games, no. Okay, Final Fantasy 15, I'm talking about you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um... <laughs> So I saw the commercials and wanted it, but we didn't have like, a, or we did have a PlayStation, but I really only got games for Christmas or if I bought them myself. Um, so my parents just didn't get me that game for that Christmas or whatever, and time passed and I played other games. Uh, then I get to the point where like I'm in high school and all my friends are really excited about Kingdom Hearts 2 coming out. Everybody's talking about it like all the time, like this is the best game, you have to play this game. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to get on this game. So I get Kingdom Hearts 1 like a little while before Kingdom Hearts 2 comes out. I don't know if I got Kingdom Hearts 2 on the release date or like shortly after it, but I did get it soon after it came out. And the thing is, I actually started playing Kingdom Hearts 2 without having finished Kingdom Hearts 1 because I couldn't beat the final boss. Like, I get up to the final boss, and then there's, like, 500 different forms. I'm not sure if I watched the ending on YouTube or if I was just like, you know, whatever, let's just go into the next game. And I was kind of like, like, who's Roxas? What the heck is all this? But I still have fun with it. And then I actually didn't beat Kingdom Hearts 2 either. I didn't see the endings of that one until I met this guy, and we started going out. And then he was like, oh, man, I can't believe you never beat the end. So then he helped me beat the end, get to the end of Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2 on my save files. So, uh, yeah, I sucked at grinding and all that. And then every other game, I was like, I'm not buying all these systems. And, and then it was kind of like we didn't start. I, I didn't get to the rest of the story until we moved in. And he was like, okay, let's, let's go through all the games. And now I appreciate it. But, yeah, it is time consuming. So... Yeah. I, I understand why people are against it, and I was planning on being one of those people who, if he was not in my life, I would be one of those people for <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, Kingdom Yo. Hearts 3, the rest of it is whatever. <laughs> I would be one of those people. I, I am a success story. I am someone who has been <laughs> saved. I am sure you guys all know people out there who used to be people like me. You have to intervene. Save them from the terrible fate I would have experienced. Yeah, and that's all that. That's that all we is. have. So, what were your guys' uh, Kingdom Hearts original stories? So, like, how did you first discover the games? Do you have any fun stories you want to tell? Um, you can leave them in the comments. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, I mean, if if you want to be like, I don't know, like a jerk, you can hit the dislike button. But you can also like not hit. I mean, you probably stopped watching at this point. I already hit the dislike button, which isn't cool. Um, anyway, so thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to our channel for more Kingdom Hearts stuff. Uh, and, All right. Uh, yeah, okay. And we put out. Bye.